For watching last week in the MIAA, and it was MIAA Tournament Week, Northwest Missouri winning the men's championship with a 61-53 victory over Nebraska Kearney. For the Bearcats, Justin Pitts led the way with 20 points, dishing out a game-high five assists as he was named the tournament's most outstanding player. Zach Schneider had 11 points, while Chris Endow led the way on the glass with seven rebounds. For Nebraska Kearney, it was Connor Bar Baronic scoring a game-high 31 points and pulling down a game-high nine rebounds. Ty Danielson would finish with 10 points and five boards. Earning all tournament team honors were Pitts, of course, the most outstanding player. Connor Crooker of Northwest Missouri, Connor Baronic of Nebraska Kearney, as well as Ty Danielson, and Davon Prince of Missouri Southern also earning all tournament team honors. Northwest Missouri earns the second seed in the NCAA Division II Central Regional. Nebraska Kearney earns the fourth seed and will take on fifth-seeded Fort Hayes State as teams make their way to Sioux Falls, South Dakota for the NCAA Division II Central Regional. statement uh what a game that was that was a great championship game that was fun um i thought both teams were just just really competed um you know almost just like a heavyweight battle and just back and forth and i, I thought we grasped control of the game and, and then just kind of hung on and um, our kids did a good job of that and scored enough I, I thought they were excellent defensively i thought they were good offensively um, we were just a little bit better um, down the stretch Thanks. Open it up to question. Keep plugging away when Carney was trying to climb back there at the end. Oh, we knew it was going to be a tough game, you know, 40 minute battle, and Coach always tells us we got to stay focused. And, you know, they, they were coming back, but we stay confident, and we know we got one of the best point guards in the nation that he's going to take us home, and, you know, that's what we ended up doing. Yeah, Justin, uh, so many minutes logged for you this term. The third game in three days seems like, seemed like everyone can make some big shots there down the stretch. Uh, I mean, I, it's all the confidence my coaches and teammates give me, and I, I, I just try to stay. I mean, and remain focused uh, throughout the games, and uh, try not to worry about how many minutes I play or if I'm tired or anything. I just go out there and try to play my game. Well, and it, you know, technically, um, he had a day off yesterday. He only played 37 minutes yesterday, so it was technically. That's what we were joking before. Well, Justin will be really fresh. He only played 37. Yeah, no, <laughs> these guys. We we leave him out there for a while. Those three. Really? You were out a couple on Friday? Uh, I don't recall that. Yeah. <laughs> I got to talk to I got to talk to Coach Meyer if he took you out. That's, I did have some cramps. So probably... In the women's championship game, it was Emporia State earning their fourth straight title as they defeated Pittsburgh State 80 to 66. For the Lady Hornets, it was Catherine Flott leading the way with a double double as she scored 17 points and pulled down 13 rebounds on the way to being named the tournament's most outstanding player. Kelly Moten, who also earned all tournament team honors, had 17 points while Sandra Nagoy and Addie Lackey each finished with 14 points in the afternoon ball game. For the Gorillas, it was Michaela Burgess who also made the all tournament team, leading the way with 24 points, going four of eight from behind the three point line. Kylie Gafford, also an all tournament team selection, had 14 points with the team best eight rebounds, while Kathy Brugman finished with 11 points. Sandra Nagoy of Emporia State also joining the all-tournament team, along with Flott, Moten, Burgess, and Gafford. 
Emporia State, Fort Hay State, Pittsburgh State, and Missouri Western will now all spend next week playing in the NCAA Division II Central Regional hosted by Pittsburgh State University. Uh, just really proud of our team. Uh, to beat a team like Pitt who's as well coached as they are and as good as they are at what they do and, and on a 15 game winning streak or 16, whatever it was, um, you know, they were the hottest team in America, I think. Um, and to beat them in a game today uh, just said a lot of think about our players and our commitment level to try to win another championship. And um, I was just proud of how we played. I thought we played really, really tough, played together, um, you know, and, and beat uh, one of the top teams in America today. Thanks. Open it up. To you. <laughs> what is it about March? It's a special time. Um, this is what you work all summer, all preseason for, and it pays off. For both players, does this feel any different after winning multiple in a row? Does it feel any different after each one, or is it the same feeling? Uh, you want to go first, or you want me to? I mean, it feels great every time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't think anyone is more excited than the other. Well, honestly, last year's versus Fort Hayes, that was a big one. Uh, I think that one was the most exciting game that we've played in the championship so far.